Welcome to U News on the University Cable Network. U News is a newscast from Buena Vista University. We will tell you the most important and exciting news on campus. The BVU Board of Trustees has approved a multi-million dollar major renovation of Pierce White residence halls, with construction scheduled to start this summer. The two residence halls, which were built in 1956, will have a total capacity of just over 400 students when the project is completed. Currently, there is space for approximately 475 students. In addition to Pierce White has, was constructed in 1965, the last major renovation was in 1992, followed in 2003 by upgrades to the heating and cooling system. To see pictures of what Pierce White will look like when it's completed, please go to the BVU website. A video project of Buena Vista University Cable Network Studios started over a year ago. We will take you behind the scenes of the Storm Lake High School Music Program. There will be a public screening of the documentary High School Music Trip, a world performance, March 20th at 7 p.m. at South Auditorium. The documentary chronicles student, the Storm Lake High School Music Department as the band, choir, and orchestra learn and practice and rehearse for a national performance trip to Walt Disney World. The documentary is the project of Buena Vista University Media Studies video students Mark Haugen, Darren Johnson, and Assistant Professor of Media Studies Jerry Johnson. Professor Johnson and his students sifted through over 150 hours of videos and interviews to put together the story of what can happen when the music students of band, choir, and orchestra come together to create a successful program benefiting the students, school, and Stormlight community. Eight students will be representing Buena Vista University's Student Move program at the National Impact Conference in Deland, Florida. Student Move, which stands for Mobilizing Outreach and Volunteer Efforts, is a student community service board that supports, assists with, organizes, and recognizes volunteer activities on campus. The students will conduct a workshop presentation entitled Motivating Volunteers, hosting a student event on the small campus, in which they'll discuss their successful su experience with event planning at BVU. The IMPACT conference is historically the largest national gathering of student leaders, administrators, faculty, and nonprofit staff committed to engaging students in service, activism, ac advocacy, and other socially responsible work. Several hundred college students from across the United States will be attending the conference, which will be held at Stetson University. Earlier this semester, Buena Vista University had a job summit on campus, an opportunity for many students to come and see what jobs are out there. One student, Bakas Pandey, a student, was a very dismayed student. He said, at an international, as, a, as an international student, there are not many companies hiring internationally at our job summit. Bakas goes each year, but he said this year he comes back with, with more disappointment. He still attends the job summit, job summit to show the companies that there are international students willing to work and has a great opportunity for the student as well as the company. The TLTC is hosting the fifth annual Show Us Your Stuff contest. Students are encouraged to spark their imaginations and creative talents by using all their digital technology that is available to them, such as the laptops, Adobe software, and any other software available through the web. Prizes of Amazon.com gift cards will be awarded to the winners of, of three categories, newbie, static, and multimedia. Check out TLTC's link on the BVU website for more information and see the winners from last year. Ever wonder what the entire library has to offer you? Well, here's your chance. Let's go see what Rebecca found out at the library this week. The Buena Vista University Library is home to thousands of books. If you are looking for a reliable place to find information for a class paper or project, or just looking for a good book to read, go to the library. Even though there is this great resource in the middle of campus, students are still not using it to their full advantage. Well, I think we're seeing less people come in to use the physical books and the journals in the library um, because there's so much now that's available electronically in the middle of the night when the library is closed or at odd hours when students need information. So when I check our electronic um, searches, they're exploding. So we know that a lot of people are using us both here on campus and then out at the, um, our graduate and professional study students as well. The library is a good place to come due to the wide variety of things the library offers for students. They offer many different types of books as well as a range of DVDs and VHS tapes. You have a lot of resources right at your fingertips. You know, first electronically but also all of the print that's still available. Um, we have several group studies that are available. It's a nice place, neutral ground for people to get together so you don't have to be in someone's room. There's usually a staff member here until 9 o'clock each weekday evening. 
It's a struggle for the school to get students to come to the library. People come with um, bad experiences a lot of times about being shushed in their elementary school library. And so they, they don't have a good feeling about it or they think, well, I have to be really serious in the library. No one needs to be afraid of the library. It can be a social and quiet place for students to come and study or meet up with friends. There are many quiet places in the library to study, but if you would like to meet a friend for a chat, the front of the library near the entrance is a good place, as well as the Common Grounds coffee shop right next door. So the next time you want a quiet place to get away to or need a reliable resource for class, come to the library where you can find almost anything you need. If you want to learn more from a professor's point of view on the library, go to YouTube channel U News Now to see more. KBVU, the campus's alternative rock radio station, is in need of DJs for this spring semester. Being a DJ is a fun way to express yourself and have fun. DJs are required to do a two-hour show once a week of any topic they choose. To volunteer to be a DJ or find out more information, contact KBVU at bvu.edu or visit KBVU's fan page on Facebook for great music-related topics. March is Women's History Month and Women's Studies is here to help you learn more about it. The Women's Studies class will have information ranging from posters about consent to discussion forums throughout the month of March. They wish to cover many issues and like to help make the campus more aware of this month. The topics covered are cervical cancer, consent, the sexual misconduct policy, date rape drugs, women in the World War II, international help for women, import women for Iowa, and a surprise event. For more information on Women Histories Month and the projects, please contact Professor Anna Maria Elsden. Let's check in with Brianna to see what they have to say about sports. How are those beavers, Brianna? Well, David, two of BB's men's basketball players have been named all IAC players. Sophomore, sophomore Wes Nordquist was voted to this year's first team by the league coaches. Nordquist finished the season as the Beavers' top scorer with an average of 15.5 points per game. He also led the league in rebounding with nearly 8 rebounds per game. This is Nordquist's second year being nominated as he earned honorable mention recognition his freshman year. Also earning all-conference honors for the second consecutive season is Doug Beeson, a junior at BV. Beeson was named a first team selection last season and a second team selection for the 2010-2011 season. He follows Nordquist in scoring and rebounding with 12.3 points and 7 rebounds per game. In the league, Beeson finished second in field goal percentage at 58.4%. The Buena Vista men's basketball team finished up the season with an 11-15 record overall. This was also their 13th straight season, making it to the Iowa Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Tournament. Buena Vista also has two women's basketball players with all-conference honors. Senior Jade Hammer and junior Jess Christensen were both selected as second-team All-Iowa Conference players. Hammer finished out the season as the Lady Beavers' top scorer with about six points per game. She also led the season with the most assists, 125 total and almost five per game. This average places Hammer in the top of the league in assists. Christensen served as the team's lead scorer, which named her fourth ranked overall in the conference, averaging 13 points per game. As far as rebounding, Christensen tied for the team's lead and was the conference's third ranked rebounder. Buena Vista Baseball started off their weekend by sweeping the board. They controlled the game against Westminster by jumping to a 2-0 lead after three innings. The Beavers didn't let up, also going 5-5 five five in stolen base attempts. BV kept the momentum for the second game, taking down Grinnell College 4-1. The BV team is now 3-1 after falling to Grinnell College in the second day of their season opening trip. They turned around from the 3-2 loss by taking another victory from Westminster. Buena Vista Baseball's next scheduled game is a doubleheader in Lincoln, Nebraska on March 12th. Check out more BV sports stats and schedules by going to BV's athletics page. Now let's see what David has for us in the note in the news. Thank you, Brianna. I can't wait to see those beavers spring to action this spring. The BVU and Storm Lake Community combined forces with an extreme winter festival on February 12th through the 13th at Scout Park.
BVU sponsored its first Winter Festival in February 2010 for BVU students and students from area high schools. It was a great turnout with events for students to participate in, such as a broom ball tournament, snow sculpture contest, and the Burr It's Cold Out Here Challenge, where students were required to sit on an ice block for three hours. BVU student Matt Sneblin, a winner of the contest, was, had commented and said it was very cold. Midterms are rolling around soon, and that means that students are required to have their ACES credit up to date. ACES contributes to university's mission by enriching the, so the, the Solid Liberal Arts Foundation, enhancing the curriculum and promoting awareness of diversity. Students are required to attend two signature, four scholarly, one student life, and one event of your choice. For more information, contact Tom Muscle at musclet at bvu.edu. Go to our YouTube channel at U News Now for a professor's views of the library. Tune in next time. Thank you for watching U News on the University Cable Network. I'm David Ekstrom.